When the war started, we had to leave our house because our area was no longer safe. In Gaza, all locations are unsafe. Nowhere is far from the bombing, and the probability of being killed is never far away. You are always afraid, day and night. I ask myself, in case a bomb hits the house, and I am sleeping next to the wall, will the wall protect me, or will it fall on me? We are all stressed. We try to stay warm as much as we can. We huddle together, we sleep close to each other, seven people in one room. To wash, we take the water, we heat it up and wash, like in the olden days. We were surviving on canned and dried food, but now even that is scarce. I'm trying to hold myself together and not get bombed. We see children thrown into the streets, and no one can go out to save them or bury them. Can you imagine? I had so many dreams. I wanted to travel and take photos outside my country. There is so much that I still want to do. I have been finding it hard to sleep this past week. I think about my friends who died. A lot. Sometimes, when I cannot sleep at night, I write poems. يقظن جدا هذا الخوف فيي. يقظن ويدعوني كل ليلة لسهرة معه. يقوم كجثة من الموت يجلس عند أصابع قدمي. كطفل يجحذ انتباه أمه. وأنا بقصد أشيح لأني أريد أن أنام قبل القصف. I cannot comprehend it all. We are being killed without any fault of our own. I am not holding a gun or anything that I can use to resist or save myself. I will resist with my voice only. I don't want to die. There are people that I want to spend more time with.